Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thank you all very much for tuning in to my channel and joining me as I explore the amazing, phenomenal, incredibly interesting wide world of pens. And yes, this is an Asveen pen, Asvine, with a new instruction manual, which I worked with them. This was the original one. I really like the gold lettering on the black background. And here's how that one looked. Here's some of the changes that I made to the original draft. I worked with my partner, Janet, and they've incorporated our changes into this manual, and I think it's an excellent manual, much better than the original one, which was pretty good. This is your typical clamshell box with Asveen in the corner there. And if you flip it over, it's recyclable. It's a number five. Pops off. We see the pen securely <coughs> in that foam cutout. And here's the new manual. So one of the things that I thought about when we reviewed the manual is it's good to have an introduction. What are the parts of the pen? Because they're referenced within the different descriptions of the filling mechanisms. Tried to make certain arrows are going the right way. Really tried to just have this be very good for beginners and maybe for people just need a little bit of a refresher. If you flip it over, you'll see some more filling systems. I think they covered everything. And we also have some maintenance, just very simple maintenance. And of course, sales and service, which are an important part. And it's one of the things I think Asveen has done from the very beginning to distinguish themselves among the many, many producers of fountain pens. We pop out the pen, and it is held securely. Slide it out of its plastic condom. And we'll see a V169 in a metal black filigree. This was the first black filigree pen that I remember seeing. And we're going to take a look at this beautiful pen a little more, more closely. Compare it to the other V169. Ink it up and put that black nib on paper. So when you first pick up the pen, you'll notice it has a decent amount of weight to it. It's a little bit over 50 grams, which I think puts it into the heavy weight category. This uh, matte black finish just feels good to the hand. Uh, and you run your fingers across it, and I don't notice anything real sharp. If you're going to press your hand into it, yeah, you can catch on a few little bits, but just not something that you would normally do with a pen. The cap comes off in uh, less than one and a half turns, and we'll see a really nice black nib, black section, and the clear barrel. This is a vacuum filler. So you would unscrew the cap and you can pull up that piston. You would put the nib into ink, push down the piston in one fell swoop. When it gets to the bottom, it's going to pull up ink because it'll form a vacuum behind that piston that gets released when you come to the section down here, which is an open more. The fillers work good. They usually get about two-thirds of a fill on the first try. You might be able to get higher. There's vacuum filling mechanisms, but I don't use them because they just make another thing you got to clean out when you're done. This section unscrews and you can easily get in there to clean. And if we look at the back part, we'll see there's a flat spot on those threads so you could unscrew this whole mechanism if you need to take the pen apart for whatever reason. But this is very well made, quality materials, so I expect it to have a very, very long life with just moderate cleaning when you change inks or 
depending upon how many fills you do or how long you keep the pen, I would say you should clean it out every couple months or so. Again, everybody develops their own methods of keeping and maintaining their pens in good working order. So the first pen we're going to compare it to is the V169, which is the gold filigree and the same clear cap and barrel material underneath the filigree. The pens are identical except for matte black versus shiny gold. And of course I also have a silver version which has a green translucent. One of my viewers was very clear at making certain that I distinguish between transparent, which is this white glass look, which transmits close to 100% of the light, and translucent that doesn't transmit all of the light through it. In this case, it absorbs the colors and lets green come through. But again, all these three pens all are great pens. They're extremely well made. I have medium nibs in these two and a fine nib in this one. As you can see, that filigree varies kind of that organic design that has a series of different shaped ovals. I think they just did an excellent job with interpreting this skeleton design is another word that people use to describe it. I think filigree is the more appropriate generic term. But we got to admire Asveen for doing this. And we may note that uh, the Jinhao 100 series Centennial pen is also now doing various forms of filigree, including black and gold. I haven't seen silver yet or rhodium plate, but I'm certain that might be in the wings. So you're going to use an ink I have in another pen. This Leonardo Schmeraldo which is in the turquoise family, teal family. Comes in a very nice bottle. I have this in another Leonardo, and I like the color, so we're going to put it into the Asveen V169 Black Filigree. So here's what the uh, Leonardo Esmeraldo ink looks like on the paper towel as I clean off the top of the bottle, clean the ink off the nib and section, and the section cleans up very nice. That's one of the advantages of metal sections is ink seems to just not stick to them, which is nice from that perspective. So let me just start out by basically saying the black nib writes as good, if not better, than the plain gold tone nib or silver tone nib. So the black coating does not at all degrade the writing experience. And as you probably heard, this is a very, very smooth nib, very consistent flow. I would say um, medium wet, not overly wet, not overly dry just lays down a really nice consistent line, feels good on the paper. It's a great writing instrument, which every Asveen pen that I've ever used has been an excellent writer. I think that's kudos to Asveen, and I think they've really focused on consistently good writers. And I think we pay a slight premium, but not much, considering the quality build, the beautiful look, fit and finish, and everything else great pens. Here we are with the V169, partially disassembled. Just wanted to show that the section does unscrew from the barrel. Some vacuum fillers, to his B, they do not. And this section, once you screw it in tightly, it's not coming out without a lot of effort. Some people have been able to unscrew it with the cap. I have not. And this nib is an interesting black coating. A little bit different than what we've seen on some other pens. 
Yeah, I probably should know what that coating is, but I don't. And of course, I have a medium nib, which I've always enjoyed from Azine. So as my uh, regular viewers know, I'm not a poster. So we'll take off the cap. And as I said, a, bit, a little bit less than one and a half turns. And yes, you can put the cap on the end of the barrel. It doesn't go down very far. It'll sit there, significantly back weights the pen. It's not really that secure. You could probably jam it on there, but then I really don't want to do anything to mar this finish. Not that that might mar it, but not worth taking the risk. It fits well in the hand. That grip feels great in the section. So there's no need to post it for writing, but if you need to post it and put the cap somewhere, you can do that. So now it's time for some editorial comments. Dimensions and everything would be in my original review of the V169, which we'll put a link in the video description for those that want more details. But let's just say this is a very good pen. It's sold in a number of platforms. It's on Amazon in the Asveen store. It's on Etsy in the Easy Buy store. And it's also available on eBay. So hopefully all of you around the world can find a seller where if you want to, you can buy this V169 pen. As I mentioned, it comes in many colors. Here's some examples of it. The black filigree one is seems to be listed separately. I don't see it ever listed with the other pens, depending upon the selling place. And I think between Etsy, Amazon, and eBay, each of them have different costs associated with them. So if you're a seller, and I've sold on eBay, and I know that they're not stingy about taking a lot of that money that you get paid for your product for just the privilege of letting you sell it on their platform. So keep that in mind when you buy. Amazon, obviously, prime delivery. So that's one advantage to going to the Amazon site if you're in domestic United States. And who knows what it's like in Amazon Worldwide. If you want to comment and let other people know about your experiences buying on different platforms, that would be really nice. And I could include that in an upcoming video. So let's do some final writing and say adieu. So I think you saw it start up right away. I found these nibs to stay wet, ready to write when you uncap. So hopefully you've enjoyed looking at this pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. And I hope this video finds everyone safe, healthy, and happy, enjoying your pens. I certainly enjoy mine. So I want to thank all of you for watching. And we've reached the end of this video. And we will say bye. More to come. Stay tuned. I'm at the bottom of the page.